Yo, what's up guys, Guido here, back again with another video. In this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to fill up your brake system with brake fluid and bleed them. So let's get straight into this video. Now the most important thing before you start this job is you want to wear some sort of eye protection. Whether it's safety glasses that are clear just like this, or if it's tinted sunglasses or whatever, or if you have prescription sunglasses, or just even prescription glasses, just wear them because you really do not want to get this stuff in your eyes. It is very bad. And also, the next thing you want to do too is use some sort of gloves or something because this stuff you really don't want to get on your skin. It is not good for your skin at all. So make sure you guys wear your gloves and your safety glasses before you start doing this. So now what you're going to need is some brake fluid. Now I've already done this job, but this is going to vary from um, brake system to brake system. Because mine, as you can see right there, it ca calls for dot three or dot four. Both of those will work. So you're going to need to go and pick out your brake fluid that will work with your brake system you have on your mini bike, motorcycle, dirt bike, whatever you're going and bleeding and filling up the brake system with. Now, when I went and installed this brake system, I actually thought it had fluid already in it, but it doesn't. So I'm going to show you guys how to go and put your fluid in it, and then how to go and pump the brakes to go and bleed them. And I already did this job, like I said, and the reason why I did it is because I was dying um, to ride my mini bike. Because, like I said, from the other brake install video, I haven't ridden this thing for two weeks because I had the wrong size brake kit that I had on here. It was a Trailmaster two-piston brake kit, but I, it, it was just too big and I didn't want to have to go and cut and weld stuff, so just getting a different brake system that would go and bolt straight up to this would be way easier. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Now the first thing that I did when I went and put the new fluid in, obviously because it was dry, you have to go and take off these two screws right here and obviously depending on brake system to brake system you might need a flathead screwdriver like this one or you might need a Phillips head screwdriver like this one and this one calls for Phillips head screwdriver so you want to go and unscrew these two right here and then this will come off and you may need to go and hit this or pry it off because mine was kind of stuck on there but trust me guys it will come off and then you just want to go and pour your fluid in there whether you use a funnel or you just straight up pour it in and just try not to make a mess you know <laughs> then the next thing I did is once this was full of fluid I went all the way down here and got this little piece right here I went and popped this off it's just rubber, so, I mean, depending on what brake systems you have, it might not be rubber, it might not come off. But anyways, this piece just comes off, and I went and cracked this bolt right here with the little bleeder valve. I went and cracked that loose, and then when this was full, I went and pumped the brakes a couple times. And then some air bubbles went out, and also some fluid came out. And once you've done that, then you want to obviously tighten it back up put the little rubber piece back on there so dirt and debris and all sorts of garbage doesn't get in there and then you want to come back up here and then take your screwdriver or whatever Phillips head or flathead doesn't matter whatever brake kit system that you have then you're gonna want to top this off once you've done all that you want to go and top this off and then go and tighten it back down and don't over tighten them because it's super easy to go and strip these screws that are on there as you can see mine are kind of corroded and rusty and that's that's how I got it straight from the factory brand new so anyways you just want to be careful when doing that and depending on your brake system you might want to put thread locker on them or you might not these didn't have thread locker on them so I didn't and it goes straight into the metal aluminum piece whatever type of material this is so just don't over tighten them but make sure it's tight on there where the stuff isn't going to go and seep and leak out also something you can do is you can make a one person bleeder for this where it's like a hose and you put it in a Gatorade bottle or any plastic bottle and you can squeeze it which will create a vacuum and also so it doesn't spill anything on the rotor and if you get any hydraulic fluid on there wipe it off immediately with like water or an alcohol cloth because you do not want that on there because it might cause brake slip and also too 
um, when I was doing it, I just was doing it very slowly, and I had, like, a wet wipe and paper towels on there, and I made sure nothing got on there, and just to be safe, I used an alcohol wipe on there, so it's all good there, and if you guys want to know how to make a one-person bleeder, I'm going to link in the description and in the comment section, um, Chris Fix's video of how to do that, and also I'll link in the comment section and description, um, how to install this brake kit that I have on here right now. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for new videos of how to do stuff with my mini bike, RC cars, Fortnite videos, any gaming videos. And yeah guys, stay tuned. Peace.